Yo, what's up, Duelist? Your boy is back, and today I'm playing Zeta Reticulant again. A few weeks ago, actually probably about a month ago, I uploaded a video playing this deck list. There's a few changes, but it's more or less the same deck list uh, that spams Zeta Reticulant to get tokens into play. Now, ever since then, nobody's really adopted Zeta Reticulant or tried to play it, but I still think that the card is really good. I still think that this is very slept on as an engine, as a core for a deck concept, and just as a way to play a more controlling resource control style deck in Edison format in general. Um, so we're going to see today if it holds up. I'm going to just like host and play against random people and, and see how it does. If you guys want to play some Edison format competitively this year, RBT, a lot of them are coming up. I know a lot of you guys maybe saw the ban list from Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! and thinking, man, that sucks, but at least Edison is goaded. Well, here are the tournament chances you'll get to play Edison format. You know, the biggest Edison format tournaments all year, RBT Los Angeles, RBT Laurel, Maryland, and RBT New York are going to be banger events. So come through, come hang, come, come party with your boy and play some competitive Edison format for the best prizes in in the world in the game and you can find signups for that stuff in the description below make sure you check that out okay uh yeah let's just go hop into some games the way this deck works like brief brief explanation i mean i made a video on it before is just you try to banish your opponent's cards and then you try to get tokens basically let's play against this guy is high rating so if he beats us then all right his his he has a lot of high rating. What is this? What is he saying? What is that boy saying? Oh, I'll give him a heart. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. All right. So, yes, we're gaming. We're gaming. Hopefully, he's not playing something that destroys us. No Imperial Iron Wall, okay? We're trying to dodge that today. But, yeah, if this deck has, you know, has any chance, then... Aw, oh, that's, that's very sweet. That's very sweet. He's going to be getting some more today. Hopefully, he doesn't become the uh, receiving end of all the sick content. <laughs> Although, from the way he's talking, he may he may enjoy that too. So, hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what's in the what's in store for us. We got Armageddon Knight. He's kind of the best best starter. He sends Zeta Reticulant and gets our engine going. There's another Zeta Reticulant. I'm going to use Armageddon Knight first. So I'm going to activate him. That'll send the Zeta Reticulant. And now we can use Allure of Darkness. The reason I used Armageddon Knight first is because I don't want to draw a second Zeta. I kind of want them in my grave, but not in the uh, hand. They're okay in the hand. They can special summon themselves out, which is pretty cool, but they're not great. I'll just say it. They're not great. Right now it's looking like Karma Cut's going to discard Heavy Storm. Okay, they're going to get a Shining Angel effect. That's pretty good for them. I'm not going to lie. That's, pr that's pretty darn good. Um... Yeah, I like discarding Heavy Storm against fairies, because usually when they set multiple, it's like Legacy of Yadagrasu anyway, so I'm down to set it. It just might be an issue if he's on Chaos Fairies or if he's on Decree Fairies. We may need to save the Heavy Storm for that. Looks like he's going to get Deity Warrior Lady. Generally speaking here, depending on his hand, I like getting another Angel, because then you can just crash the Angel and get your free plus. This is also a free plus, but it doesn't leave you with an Angel in play, it leaves you with a Warrior Lady. Which is more or less the same thing, I guess. Maybe he just has another angel. In which case, we should set both karma cuts. Is that the case, or should I have set torrential? Hmm. Maybe I'll set one torrential, one karma cut. If he, if he summons a guy, I'll torrential. And then if he heavy storms, I can chain karma cut and then go like uh, minus a million. But <laughs> hey, here we are. Maybe I don't even chain the karma cut. We'll see. We'll see. No, I, I've got to chain it, right? Hmm. It's going to be a hard matchup. I can't lie. It's going to be difficult. If he summons specifically Shining Angel, though, Karma Cut has a nice effect where it can banish all of the monsters with the same name from the graveyard. So it can cut him off even further. Wow, Charge of the Light Brigade. Not what I was expecting. Um, so it looks like he's playing Christia Sworn with DD Warrior Lady and Shining Angel. Not what I was expecting at all. Um, I'm going to Torrential here. Just going to Torrential. Yeah, so we're going to lose the Armageddon Knight. That does suck, but interesting. Okay, it's got two fairy, three fairies, actually. The Karma Cut is very useful versus Christia. Cyber Dragon, not the best draw. We'll just pass. Um, three 
fairies, two light sworn names. So the Shining Angel and the DD Warrior Lady. I wonder what they contribute to this deck. I know Shining Angel can get. There's another Shining Angel. That's gonna be okay. He's gonna attack. I am gonna Karma Cut this. And it's also gonna banish the same one as his graveyard. And then I'm gonna activate Zeta Reticulant. Go find a token. Zeta. And we'll get one of these. And that'll get us a 500 500 token. I believe it needs to banish from the field. Each time a monster your opponent controls, yes. So we only get one token here. But that's still pretty good. <laughs> Copium. Um, what are we going to do with this one token? He says dope. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> we get a 500-500. It has no, no bearing on this game whatsoever. I guess we'll just attack for 500. Um, just set the other karma cut. There's really no no reason to sack for cyber dragon it's probably going to be our discard to the karma cut and then we'll get another token we'll be able to chaos sorcerer and caius and start to effectively pressure the opponent chaos sorcerer is pretty good with the zeta reticulant as well the nice thing about these tokens is unlike dandy tokens or um like the other tokens they apply life point pressure so they actually accumulate really nicely you get one or two of them and then it's just annoying like your opponent's like ah, i don't want to take this damage they can run over shit like raiko yeah like this if this is a raiko like well, I mean, I'm going to go for the Caius here because that's the safest play. Um, he may have Herald. Okay, so that's going to work. He's going to take a 1,000, and Zeta's going to give us another token. So we're going to get same token. Uh, it has to be an attack or defense. We can choose. Okay, cool. So we're going to go battle phase. Uh, 500. It seems a little ambitious to be playing Shining Angel in like a Light Sworn style deck. I mean, I understand the draw of being able to Shining Angel float into like a Shire or something and then being able to sack it for Celestia, but it's just so many normal summons. It's so many normal summons. I, I've tried it a bunch and like I've found that if the normal summons aren't milling, it's just it just slows the deck down a ton. Um, you generally speaking want to play the Shining Angels with like a heavier trap lineup or you want to play it with Royal Decree, um, but it's not necessarily ideal with like the beckoning light side of things. It's not terrible. It's just not ideal. Like it's not like unplayable by any means. Yes, he looks like he's just had a lot of shining angels uh, floating around. And here, like, I mean, we can pretty safely just karma cut this thing, and it's probably just game over, right? Uh, is it game over? Do I want a karma cut or do I want to kaiser it? I guess it's game over either way, and we can preserve our Karma Cut. Uh, sure. I guess I'll, I'll lose this. Is it game over either way? I don't even know. I just think that, like, if there's, like, some crazy circumstance here where he's able to, like, summon a Christia, I don't know how he would be able to do that, but uh, we are going to end phase. Use the Karma Cut on the Shining Angel. And then just get another token. 500. 500. This is definitely a good matchup for us. Because I think his deck is a little bit like slanted in a weird way. Um, but yeah, we can go for the Caius on the back row here. And that should be good enough to win. Yep. Perfect. Very nice. Game plan initiated. Our uh, game two... I will say GG after it's over. Our game two is going to be pretty good for us. Actually, we have a lot of good cards for this matchup. I actually think this is a very good matchup for us. We're going to side out Heavy Storm. We do need to be careful of Royal Decree, though. Hmm. Meh, we have six Monarchs. Probably fine. We also have Dad. It's like... The Monarchs aren't great into that... What is it? The Royal... De not Royal Decree. Um, Herald of Orange Light, but... We're going to bring in Banisher. He's pretty good against Herald of Orange Light. I'm going to cut Dark Greffer, maybe? Seems a little silly. Maybe Armageddon Knight's not the best. But we do need to get the Zetas in the graveyard consistently. So, like, what are we supposed to do, you know? I think I'm going to go with this configuration. And we're just going to cut, like, one of these, one of these. Maybe one of my trap cards, like a... D prison and like a Ryza, maybe. Maybe Necro Gardener. 
All right, whatever. Dust Shoot seems good too. Actually, we should maybe try Dust Shoot out. I'm not sure over what though. Legacy or Deep Prison? Deep Prison is pretty bad against Lila. That's the reason, and it's bad against Raiko too. So that's why I'm like, eh, less high on the Deep Prisons than I am on like Karma Cuts and shit. We could have also cut a Zeta. Like this deck definitely doesn't need the Zeta synergies to like snowball, but it welcomes them, I should say. This hand's pretty mid, but Karma Cut can get Zeta in the graveyard and it can get us a token. So that's not bad. The way it works is Karma Cut will discard the Zeta for cost and then get us a token. So I can set the Karma Cut here, just pass. He'll try to do something with this Garroth, maybe commit another Lysorn or something. Maybe he'll try to Celestia me. Uh, maybe I should have Karma Cut him in the standby phase, but I just don't want to lose my token. Yeah, see, this is my game plan here. Target that guy, and then we'll get a token. 500, 500. And this card is really good. I, I genuinely think this card is underrated, underplayed, underrepresented. It allows you to get value out of Karma Cut. Uh, what's up? He's got a question for us. Wonder what he's, I wonder if he's asking if he can herald the Zeta activation. He can. Uh, he totally can. If you chain crow, it still resolves. Uh, if you chain crow to karma cut, he won't activate. But if you chain crow to Zeta, then he will still resolve. So like chain link one, karma cut, discard Zeta for cost. If you want to chain crow to that, it'll stop it. Um, yeah, we won't get the token if you chain crow to it. Let's see if he wants to do that. He, all right, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, no. Okay, pretty uh, pretty interesting situation there. Um, so basically, what happens is karma cut chain link one. We're doing this for educational purposes. Um, also, because he's being a homie and a half right now. Uh, we'll just pass. But yeah, um, what was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Chain link one, Karma Cut, pitch the Zeta for cost. Chain link two, DD Crow. Uh, we've got the Soul Exchange for the Vanity Fiend right now. So, feeling pretty strong about this. And then we'll normal summon Vanity Fiend and pass the turn. He could have Honest to deal with this guy, or just another Raikou. We'll see though. Vanities is generally speaking pretty good versus the uh, Lightshorn decks. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's it's gonna be a quick clock and just locking him out. <laughs> Not that quick. <laughs> uh, a little bit too quick. A little bit too fast. <laughs> but yes, uh, our hand is pretty bricked. But we can we can figure it out. Gores into a monarch is always strong. The worst case scenario is like he has like some sort of like honest shenanigans into Herald of Orange into Christia. Like that's like obviously the worst case scenario for us. But this is fine. Armageddon Knight. It's a good draw. I'll use it. Activate his effect. This will send a Zeta. Could also send a Plague. But I think getting Zeta in the grave is better. Battle phase will attack with Vanities first. If it's DD Warrior Lady, he got me. He got me pretty good. It's Herald of Orange. Beautiful. That's good news for us. Setting those means he's like, he has a really bad hand. And he needs to just have life points. Next turn, if he doesn't clear the Armageddon Knight, we've got the Ryza, which should be uh, all she wrote. So I'm going to try to go for it. Ryza, target the set monster. See what he's got. GG's. GG's. I'm a little heart. That's a fucking sick, sick, nasty Zeta showcase. Have a nice night. You too, bro. You too, bro. You too. 
we're gonna go get another game so kind of living up to the hype although the opponent's deck was not like the st statistically oh gbo is hosting hello say less say less perhaps we're deviating a little bit perhaps we're deviating maybe he's hosting for someone else though it's quite possible it's quite possible we'll, we'll find out we'll find out we'll find out you looking for games i'm recording could be hype if you guys have watched any of the previous rbet coverage then you know who gbo is we've also covered some of his matches um in in like retrospect on the channel before he topped a tournament with flanvels i think he topped the ddv tournament with flanvel we covered all his matches he, he's just a very consistent player i think he's topped three of the like rbet ddv tournaments in a row this season which is which is amazing but he's probably just afk so we'll just get a different game sag sag i dm'd him but another time perhaps another time we'll have to showcase zeta against a less skilled oh wait 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 wait. say less say less say less yo that's cool but i have a match schedule no problem good luck if my opponent ever shows up <laughs> good luck bro all right we're playing we're playing against a random we're playing against a random that's how it's going down today yeah i figured that might be the case alas alas dad boy is out here gaming um hmm no one is joining i actually hosted a twitter poll recently that was super interesting let me see if i can get that twitter poll pulled up for you guys so you guys can see it um it dealt with like basically how often you encounter shitty circumstances on dueling book basically and a lot of people said very frequently let me let me get that uh let me get that screenshot for y'all real quick okay we got it on lock oh geez loud ass screenshot noise <laughs> okay let's see here it is so i hosted a, a poll on twitter where it says when you're playing on dueling book how often would you say you encounter uh rulings questions or disputes or general wrong rulings or whatever and 50 percent of or 35 percent of the people who vote, this is confusing because it's percentages on the left and percentages on the right but 35 percent of the people who voted said half of the time or more um they encounter like some type of dispute when playing on dueling book or some type of like ruling error or some type of something like that and i've like said a lot of times in the past like how Yu-Gi-Oh rulings are the um oh do you look have fun um Yu-Gi-Oh rulings are the worst part of the format right like they're the they're the well not just the format but the game itself in general and not having like an online platform that emulates the TCG even Master Duel doesn't emulate the TCG because they're not best two of three you know what I mean like even that this Dark Refer is looking like shit this is a really really weak hand actually I think I might go for set I might summon where you no this is just an ass hand you just set deep prison pass i want to get value out of the cyber dragon uh the dark refer is really only good when you draw zeta reticulant when you don't draw zeta reticulant it's kind of a garnet so um i'm not really sold on it being in this deck list i'm not really happy about it being here but maybe we can get get a little bit of value here um with the dark refer i'm going to use it to attack my opponent basically pass priority all right connect for 17 it might also confuse him as to what we're playing he may think like oh we're on like hybrid black wings or something to that degree he said two cards i'm pretty happy to set my two cards as well we're looking to play like an aggro game plan here because our hand is like very aggro and face fires of doomsday go off king uh, that's gonna be tribute fodder for like Caius or some shit like that. Um, usually it's just something like that. Could also be used for Destiny Hero Plasma, which is a cool card. But basically anything he summons here is gonna get him like two for one or something into a uh, deep prison. That seventeen hundred damage is good chip damage. Space Typhoon blind. Interesting. That's gonna hit our solid. So. 
Congratulations to the opponent. You've successfully cleared our solemn. He said, oof, does he have Heavy Storm 2 set? It's possible he has a set Heavy Storm here. Um, what is this? Kai's Shadow Monarch. So this is kind of what we expected. What is he going to target? Greffer. That makes the most sense. Don't mind this, though. He'll attack. We will deprison. But yeah, this is kind of what we expected. He's going to lose his Caius. And ultimately, we ended up down two for two, but he has a token, and we took a thousand, which is about as good as we're going to get out of a Greffer. Here, he's going to Foolish Burial. That's interesting. What is he foolishing with this deck? Dandelion. So this is like a token spam style deck of some kind. I don't know what he's looking to do. Possibly Reptilians, I'm thinking. He's doing this to cover his life total, which is interesting. Of course, you know, I get punished and draw the Zeta Reticulant after I use the Greffer to pressure the opponent in my hand that otherwise, you know, <laughs> of course this happens, right? So we've got a couple of options. We go Cyber Dragon Warrior Lady and just try to clear the tokens. Um, we could set the Warrior Lady in anticipation of him having maybe another Caius. Um, I think it's worth going for both. So I think I'm going to special summon Cyber Dragon. He's going to say okay. If I don't kill one of the tokens, he gets Vasky Pop. If he has Mirror Force here, then he got me. Like, that's just how it goes. Kill a token. Yep, he got me. That's tough. Pass the turn. I dislike my position here. <laughs> I know it may seem like my position is dominant. However, <laughs> the circumstances are a little bit more dire than they <laughs> they may seem. <laughs> Your boy is, is losing it here. We're not doing so hot. Uh, definitely a lot of unfortunate circumstances have built up to this moment. But alas, here we are. Here we are. Okay, there's a Stardust Dragon, and it's fine. You can uh, sacrifice one for a Caius that you can't summon because you summoned Debris Dragon. Nice try, though. Uh, gonna deprison the Stardust, and he shouldn't have attacked with that. That was kind of silly, but... All right, my hand sucks. Let's just pass. Hopefully we draw a Karma Cut. That would be the best possible. I'm not sure what else we could draw. That would work here. Quick draw. Yeah, we need Karma Cut. Looks like he is on Reptilians which is unique. Um, not what I was expecting, honestly. He's going to be pitching his last card at this drill weir. Boy, I would love a Karma Cut. Would certainly love a Karma Cut here. He just doesn't care about gores, does he? Wow. Okay, drill, pitch, scapegoat. Okay, he can add back Vasky next turn. All right, good to know. That's tough. All right, we set it and we pass. And drill comes back. He's gonna add back probably debris. That's what makes the most sense. Well, maybe not actually, his board's kind of full. He could. He can't really add back dandelion. He could add back quick draw. Oh, he's gonna go Vasky. Okay, that makes sense, some degree. Hmm. Lure of Darkness. Yeah. Sure, go off. <sighs> I wonder what he's thinking or what he's trying to do there. That isn't. I just feel like. What was the idea there? I'm curious. He's going to attack. I'm going to bluff a mirror force or just think here for a moment. Okay, I'll go 24. He's going to pitch something to banish this guy. He drew another Vasky. Wow. Interesting. Well, we're dead on board to the Drill Warrior. But I don't want him to think that for whatever reason. 
That was a really unlucky Zeta top deck after Greffer poke. I probably should have just held the Greffer and played the long game because I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, a big mistake on my part gonna cost me here. It's gonna affect to banish. Wow, okay, not what I was expecting. Pitches Gardner. Um, here comes that guy. We'll bottom list that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, draw for turn is brain control. Dude, shoot me. <laughs> I am not winning this game at all on any metric. Just pass the turn. I really need him to mess up. He's going to attack with drill because I didn't spend the torrential. Yep, and we'll go next. Um, okay, against this deck, I'm trying to think. Vanity's is obviously fucking crazy. Like, I don't really see how he ever beats this. Royal Oppression is probably pretty good against this deck, too. Um, theoretically. He's on, like, that offerings to the snake deity bullshit. So that's something we should consider. Man, that game just was really unlucky for us. That's okay, though. I think I'll cut the Greffer. I'll cut Legacy, I think. Necro. Man, we just had too many reactive cards. Like, all of these were just kind of, like, not great for us. I'm going to cut a Ryza. See these, and then... I want to have, like, another, like, discard card phoenix wing and i do want to have a royal oppression possibly but i'm not certain if royal oppression is like where we want to be with this config it might be i think chaos sorcerer is not very good against his deck and cyber dragon going first is kind of sus like these three come out and then we have dust shoot oppression wind blast with the Wind Blast, do I want the Necro and the Legacy? And do I want like Space Typhoon or something like that? Hmm. This will be a tough matchup. That's what I have concluded. We're just gonna run it back. I think Banisher has a lot of application, but it just gets walled by that 2,000 defense guy. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, opening hand is terrible. Do we set plague? What punishes us for setting plague? Nothing really. I don't want to take hits. Let's just set plague. If he like sets his own monster, then we can Kaius it or something. At least. Alright, sets two passes. We draw Ryza. That's pretty good. Main one. That's a good Ryza. So let's go for the Ryza. I think it's a good way to uh, start things off. Okay. Activate the effect. Target that one. Chain bottomless. Okay. That's fair. Pass the turn. He has a lot of chainables now that I'm thinking about it. Fires of Doomsday, bottomless trap hole. Hmm. What is this game? Karma cut, that's pretty good. That's actually really fucking good. Um, we'll just pass. There's no reason to commit further. I wonder what he's about, you know? Like, what is he about? He's on that Drago shit, too. Alright, let's give him a reason. Let's attack with DD Warrior Lady. We're giving him a Kaya's target.
All right, main phase two. Do we want to set Solemn and set Karma Cut now? I think we do. Do we want to set it? Yeah, I guess we do, yeah. And phase fires, that's fine. He's got heavy storm, we saw him that. He summons Vasky. Priority activates. Uh, sure. I could have karma cut one of the tokens to stop the Vasky. But. There's Caius, we saw him this. Do we saw on this? Yeah, I think we saw on this. Get that shit out of here. So it's a functional two for one. If he can't find another way to convert these tokens, then we're doing okay. Uh, that drill warrior is a problem now, though. Like we basically always have to hold this for drill. He's saying think maybe we karma cut the stupid quick draw when he goes for it yeah yeah i think that that's pretty good i think we karma cut the stupid quick draw when he goes for it foolish burial oh that's fine that is just dandelion right hmm Just two more tokens. Maybe Royal Oppression and Banisher are like just really good here. We'll see though. We'll see. It's gonna go sack, sack, sack. Wow. That's near a plasma. Priority. Target the DD Warrior Lady. Um, that's fine. You can have the uh, DD Warrior Lady. That is not what I was expecting. But we take those. We don't karma cut until the battle phase, because discarding Zeta Reticulant target the Destiny Hero Plasma. And then we'll get a Zeta token. Very nice. Very nice. Says lots and lots of tokens, yeah. My deck's not the best at making tokens, but my tokens are a little bit better than his tokens, so hopefully we can equate that to a win somehow. There's a Zeta Reticulant, that's pretty fucking good. So I'm gonna get that guy in play, get that boy down. Drawing double Zeta is obviously awkward, but just being able to summon it is pretty cool here. Scapegoat, all right. We'll clear some tokens. Kill one, kill one. All right, pass the turn. If he's got like the conversions, then we lose, I guess. That's not a conversion now, is it? That's just a boy. That's just a little guy. Okay. Do we sack the Zeta for Caius? I think so. Target the monster. Okay, we get two tokens. Let's set their little stat points. Oh, fuck it. Let's play in a mirror force. All right, cool. Tokens coming out on top. Pass the turn back. We've still got plague in the grave. We can uh, go for a synchro play if we have to at some point, but uh, could be a lot worse. Honestly, it could be a lot worse. There's this card. That doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't think it matters. I don't really understand the uh, concept behind this. Probably an offering to the snake deity situation. Um, we can force it with soul exchange. 
But then he kills what? Kaya's token? That is annoying. Can we force it otherwise? If we sack for Kaya's target the new back row. I'm trying to think if there's a better way to force it. Ah, let's do soul exchange. It's kind of the worst of our cards. There it is. Okay. Cool. Um, we can still summon, which is sick. So, do we want to play DD Warrior Lady or Caius? We can't attack because we use Soul Exchange, and it did technically not, or it did technically resolve. It just resolved without effect. So, switch the token, set the Warrior Lady, pass the turn, and face fires. That's okay, because like, what are you doing with these tokens? Like, you sack for Caius. Sure. All right. You kill one of my monsters, kill both my monsters. That does suck. Yeah, Caius here does kind of suck. Hmm. Future fusion. This re reveals a hero, and it's able to summon Dandelion. Oh, okay, it's going to send a water treeborn, most likely. Or could send Gardner if he doesn't play it. Yeah, he doesn't play it, so. And he's got Miracle Fusion. That's pretty good. You know, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. What is he killing? Token? Set monster? He's going to go token. Okay. Um. Dark armed, wow, is that live? Kinda. <laughs> it's kinda live. Let's see, if I stack for plague. What if we banish this guy? Huh. So if we go stack for plague. Attack both tokens. No, 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 no. Attack a token. Stack for plague. Attack a token with plague. Banish the zero. The zero pops my board. Pops the guy. I think it pops all the tokens too. You saw a monster your controllers removed from play. No, I'm turn player. So his is mandatory. So we'll get two tokens. Oh, that's super fucking good. Okay, I'm gonna go plague. So stack this guy. Special plague. And these are mandatory, right? Yeah, they are mandatory, so. Flip DD Warrior Lady. Battle phase. Attack token. Attack this guy. Pay a thousand. Activate the effect. Banish. Uh, Zeta 1, Zeta 2, zero, 3. So it's going to pop the uh, guy. We're going to get two tokens. One of them can be an attack. Uh, and then we can attack over the other token. And then main phase 2, we've got dark arms to blow up the future fusion, um, which is pretty good. So we're leaving him with zero cards. We've got a Caius on top. We've got Gores in our hand, just in case things go wrong. Got Dark Armed in play to pop things. Um, yeah, I think this should be game. I'm not exactly certain how we do it this turn, though. So if we double sack for Gores, that's kind of like what I'm thinking. It's like double sack for Gores, hit for 55. And then Caius's game eventually. This is a really fucking complicated situation. I think the safest play is to just attack for 28. Main phase two, switch this guy. Pass a turn. And then next turn we just win. Like 
He can draw brain control. That's a pretty good one. But I don't think I could have put him below brain control. Could I have? Sack. I don't think I could have put him below brain control. There's Stratos. Stratos searches Plasma or something. Prodigy, okay. Kills a token. That's fine. It's just gonna pass. We're gonna draw bottomless. All right. Caius is guy, get two more tokens. All right, moving on to the next game. So I did kind of like the way we sideboarded. I think Royal Oppression is a lot better than I think it is. Like, uh, it's definitely gonna be useful in this matchup. Quite interesting. I think this matchup will be good for us. Uh, I just need to not play like an idiot. Oh God. Man, that offering is nice to you. I wish I had a Starlight Road somewhere so I could stop that bullshit. Because that card's problematic. Kind of like Space I've to deal with that bullshit. It also, like, kind of end phase hit shit, like fires and whatever. But he's going first, so it's like, bruh. Enemy controller's kind of funny. Switch his token to attack and then game shot him. Wonder if that's gonna come up or not. How do I want to side in this matchup? This is a weird matchup. I kind of like the Cyber Dragons going second. They do get a lot better. I like Space Like I, I like all this like going second cards. Um, he might be on. He might be boarding in those DD Crows to hit our Zetas, so it might be worth going for Burial. And Burial also kills Drill Warrior. So, food for thought. Let's go minus one deeps. I think it's like the worst of our cards. Um, minus one wind blast going second. Keep the dust shoot question mark going second. We could cut dust shoot going second. I don't hate that idea. And then we could cut one more card here. The plague was kind of useful that game. It was pretty, pretty good. Maybe we randomly cut a lure. I don't think a lure is like anything spectacular. Solemn Judgment was kind of risky there. I'm not sure I like Solemn Judgment versus deck, but necessary evil perhaps. And then with this amount of lights, do I want the chaos sorcerer in? I think the answer is no. I don't think I do. I think we're more Vanities Gaming than Chaos Sorcerer Gaming. This hand functions. It's not like great by any metrics, but it has the cards that we need in order to play the beginning of the game. Ideal draw would be Armageddon Knight, obviously. Worst draw is, you guessed it, Zeta Reticulant. Now this is ugly. I don't like this. Hmm. What is he pitching? He's turning whatever he's pitching here into a dandelion. Oh, he's pitching brain control? That's crazy. That can't be right. Can it? Is that right? Pitching brain control? What the fuck? So the cards in his back row are better than brain control? That's crazy. That can't be right. Hmm. Uh, let's soul exchange into Kaya's. Activate the effect. Let's target the middle set. 
came bottomless. Both times. Okay. Well. Could be worse. Deep Prison does deal with Drill Warrior technically, and Torrential also deals with Drill Warrior. I'm gonna just set two. Fuck it. He's gonna blind dust, hits the Deep Prison. That's okay ish. It's not great. Oh, okay, he has both. Interesting. So we're not in a great spot, but he's not in like a great, but he's in a good spot. He has drill. So he was able to keep the back row clear with the drill, which is pretty much all it takes to win with this card. Best draw now would probably be Royal Oppression. I don't remember if I brought in the second one. I don't think I did. I should have. That was pretty stupid. I should have cut this card in hindsight. Jesus. We're just losing to a quick draw deck. This is like the nuts in quick draw. Yeah. We got 50 50 on the Caius. Damn, that's fucking cringe. All right. Make Stardust, summon two tokens. He's gonna hit. I'm gonna summon the Trag. I don't think it's getting better. And if we can draw like a Oppression, Solemn, not great. Um, Trying to think what the best way to approach this is. We banish the Stardust, we can Solemn whatever he adds back with Drill. And he has to pitch his drawn card. Hmm. All right. It's not great. I'll be honest, it's not great. Banish the Stardust. Set the Solemn, pass the turn. He brings out Drill. He adds back Dandelion. Or debris. Torrential is gone, so he can just summon the debris. He's gonna add back dandelion. That's fucking weird. Okay, so he's gonna banish, and then maybe he has like a Vasky or something. No. Okay. Cool. Well, we can just run over a token, I guess. I should keep this in hand because a um, couple of reasons, but the big one is if we draw Karma Cut, we'll have something to actually discard to it. This is so cringe, man. I wish I could draw this while playing Quick Draw. God damn. All right, we're gonna take 1800. Lose the Trigodia. What did he add back? I didn't even see what he added back. He's going to banish his card. Pitches Debris. Interesting. Okay. Set Monster. That's why we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Pass the turn back. He gets the drill. We can chain to him discarding. He's gonna add back debris. So we take 24. And then we chain to him discarding. Using effect to banish. Chain. Target drill. He's gonna solemn. We're gonna solemn back. He's gonna lose his drill. It's unfortunate we never got Zeta, because Zeta is so good against drill. You still discard.
discarded the debris. All right, cool. We're going to draw Zeta Reticulant right now. Watch. Yeah, it's just not great. That's really unfortunate because Zeta is insane versus Drill Warrior. Every time he banishes a Drill Warrior, we just get a token. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Solemn, Brain Control, Typhoon, Future Fusion, Quick Draw, Dandy Debris. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I don't think you could have stacked a better hand. Holy shit. <laughs> Literal perfect. Oh my god. That is actually insane. Look at that fucking meme. <laughs> Says, yeah, my bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's almost like this dog shit isn't even in his deck. Says, I got very lucky. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I would say so. Let's see the lethal threat that's under bottomless. Let's see it. I know you have it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Summon it. Oh, no lethal threat under bottomless. Oh, that's fucking just lovely. Oh my god, that is crazy. Okay, here comes this stupid card. We bottomless it and then we lose. There's a bottomless. Um. Alright, summon your monster. GG's. GG's. You should go play the lottery. LMAO. <laughs> His lucky day. Oh my gosh. I still think Zeta's a strong deck. Um, but I'm tilted now and I don't want to continue playing further. Um, but yeah, that was that was fucking nuts. Uh in any case, the deck is solid. I think this build might need some work. I think I sided maybe poorly as well by not bringing in the royal oppressions there's definitely something I, I could learn from that game um but overall i think we can write it off as variants and zeta reticulant is still the best deck in edison format see you guys in the next vid peace